An elderly Bryant man and a baby deer's heartwarming bond takes a heartbreaking turn tonight. The 81-year-old's call for help ends with game and fish officers euthanizing the fawn. KRK's Price McKeon is back in the studio to tell us about this man who says he just wanted to take the deer to his farm. Exactly, Bob and Ashley. Tommy Powell told me if he knew he could face a fine and the deer would be dead, he never would have called Game and Fish from the start. The 81-year-old allowed us on his property, but didn't want to talk on camera with everything going on. But that didn't stop other people from speaking up. Tommy Powell questions his call for help. As he says goodbye to the fawn, he's named Baby. It's devastating, actually. Cody Freeman's mom lives next door to the 81-year-old Bryant man who's cared for the abandoned baby deer for months. The deer has not caused any disturbances or anything like that. Uh, my mother's also a witness that it will eat veg vegetation. She's shocked to hear Powell's call to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission for help to move Baby to his farm turned into officers showing up to euthanize the baby deer Thursday. Wow, which makes that even more sad because they should have came and got the animal and let it go. This is the last thing anybody at the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission wants to do, uh, believe me. AGFC spokesperson Randy Zeller says it's what they had to do for public safety. It's lost its fear of humans, it's lost its fear of dogs, cats, uh, other animals, and it's lost its fear of cars and traffic and things like that. He also says relocating the deer isn't an option because of confirmed chronic wasting disease in Arkansas deer. So we do have to take precautions for the entire deer herd because of that. This is absolutely ridiculous and it's not it's not okay. Freeman's a hunter. I thought highly of Game and Fish for a very long time. Again, being a hunter myself with my father, this is something that we are very close to, and this is hitting home home for me. But she still can't wrap her mind around it all. You don't kill something that you're not going to eat. You just don't. Game and Fish say the meat can't be eaten because of the tranquilizer used before the de deer's put down. We learned that biologists will try to collect samples from the deer to test for that chronic wasting disease. Back to you.